racing. And it's just run two hours, 28.30. That's an Olympic qualifying time. Well, that that and the tears come. Tears of joy, I'm sure, for her. <laughs> I don't know about the game, though. I don't know about the game. No, I don't know. I don't know. Well, some of these women might not be in the top one, two, three, but goodness me, there are some stories here. Joe Hawks, the classic personal best, pretty much, you'd think, making the team for Holland, for the Dutch, for the Netherlands. And then, oh, they're still racing. This is the time. There's the clock clicking. Ticking. They're just going to get under. Yes. 26, 27, 28. We'll have to wait for the official time. Van der Leyen, the Dutch going through. But uh, Mika Gonnison, I'd love to find out a little bit more of her story. Hardly any racing at all. Two, three years of racing. Look at the joy of Jill Holtemann. And then good performances still, but outside of the time required coming in. Clio was on the time the Spaniard for such a major part of the race. Just the last 7 8 K fell away, sadly for her. Mendez was the other one, so I was trying to see who it was who came across the line. It was her teammate, Clio's teammate, Laura Mendez of Spain, who just sneaked under. Van der Meiden's time officially. Joel has come up. Oh, we're done. Two hours. 29. 30. Wow. Exactly. Just done it. Exactly. Yes. And there's confirmation of that at the bottom. Ruth van der Meijden, all of these top 10 women coming inside the Olympic qualifying time. Most importantly, mm. personal best right throughout this, indeed for our winner, Katja Steinwerk mm. of Germany. Sarah Moreira with a beautifully judged race coming through to take second place. Her best performance for six years. Rabia Schoenbohr, yes, will she join her twin sister in the German team? What about Laura Hottenrock, who finished just behind her? Three Germans at the top of the ball. Then you're going over to Holtemann, Gollison, stories everywhere. Olympic qualifying marks, some with huge, huge personal bests. I'm sure lots of celebration for many of those women, and disappointment for a few as well as they continue to come across the line. Well, for the next player from Germany. <laughs> two hours 25 <laughs> you start to get in you know, when you go to things like Olympic Games it isn't always about who can run sub 220 who can run 221 is it it's can you deal with the conditions so Katha Steinberg runs 225 in her training kit I know I mean that's got to give her confidence hasn't it that if she was wearing the same race kit as everyone else she could go even faster and she was so so impressive today it was absolutely Brilliant. There's such a mix of emotions. Here we see um, who's that finishing there. I think that's the uh, uh, the veteran, if you yeah. like. Um, that's Madde Perrin. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> she had the fastest PB going into this race. Um, it was from a while ago. Yeah, 2006. But um, but yeah, I mean, what an amazing event it's been. We've had the story of Kipchoge coming back. We've had the story of the top three in each race. But so many other stories of people coming across the line elated to achieve potential Olympic places and um, it, it's been absolutely wonderful and all credit to the organisers I think it's been such a brilliant day. Yes, applauded to all around the organisers uh, in such a short space of time managing to put this together in an unusual setting, a setting which has produced great performances. The main thing was that it actually gave, just gave people a chance because we're running out of time only uh, into May, the final opportunities, but there are so few races around the world where people can go and have a go. And they did more than that today. And Elliot Kipchoge back to his place where he belongs at the top of the list. The winner in two hours, four minutes and 30 seconds. Jonathan Career inside his personal best by just a few seconds. Brave run from him. Hung on in the end, two hours, 6.40. Kifle, again, just inside his personal best in third. This was how Kata Steinruck finished her race in fine style. Under two hours 26, the pace hardly faltered, just slowed a little bit between 
35 and 40k as you might expect but was able to just pull it back again in the last two kilometers particularly perhaps the last two three minutes with the help of her pacemaking friends Steinrück came through on what was a very good day for the German runners but she came out on top I'm sure her mom and dad sort of crucial to her development it's often hard to talk about moms and dads when you're 31 and but you're they are they are key yeah. to her career and she will her coaching team and yeah absolutely impressive wasn't she she was so in control and just produced such a brilliant performance So the athletes still coming in. Clock at uh, 2.34. Alias. I'll be disappointed for her because she is somebody who in the past has been very close to qualifying time and probably thought that today might have been a chance for her, for her to do it. Uh, she ran 2.30 in Valencia in December, so she probably thought she had a chance, but... Not her day today. She looks disappointed, but you know, the determination to finish when it, it's such a long event and things aren't going as well as you hoped, you know, it's still a very, very great turn and run. Well, the airfield, the Twente, Twente airfield near Enskede in the Netherlands is a. Never seen anything like this, I'm sure. May never see anything like it again, who knows? Although 